In this tutorial, we will create a so-called walk-by transition using simple masking techniques in Adobe After Effects. As you can see, I've got a clip on the timeline that doesn't have any masks applied. Let's go ahead and create one right now. First of all, I'm going to find the frame where I want the transition to begin. In my case, I think this will be the perfect frame to start the transition. Then I'm going to select the clip, make sure it is selected, then select the pen tool. And then you can create a mask covering the area of the transition. You don't have to be super precise, just create an outline because we're going to smoothen it out in our next step. Nicely extend the mask and then connect it to the first point and now we don't see the rest of the video. To fix that we need to press M a couple times until we see mask properties. Make sure the invert box is checked. So the rest of the video comes back and the area we've masked disappears. In fact it's transparent. If we toggle the transparency grid you can see it's transparent so anything we put behind this will be visible. Now you can make adjustments to the mask by dragging individual points. Then I'm going to set mask feather to 30 so the edges of the mask are nice and soft. But after doing so, the parts of the video will start showing through the mask and in order to fix that we need to increase mask expansion a bit until those parts are completely covered. Once you're happy with the softness of your mask, make sure to create keyframe for mask path because we will be animating the mask frame by frame. So let's move forward one frame by pressing page down key. As you can see now we have a bigger area that we need to cover with our mask. First let's select the selection tool, then drag and select any individual point and drag it over. Then simply click and select the other points and drag them over as well so you can cover a new area with your mask. As you can see the process is pretty simple but could be a bit time consuming and that's literally all you have to do to move frame by frame and adjust the mask until you cover an entire screen. In case if you're wondering you can drag and select multiple mask points to move them simultaneously. I hope you get the point here, I'm going to speed the video so you don't have to wait. And after you're done, I suggest you make a full preview from the beginning to check for any possible adjustments. You can even toggle the transparency grid to better see what's going on. And once you've made sure that everything's fine, an important step left is to go back to the first mask path keyframe. Move back one frame, you can do that by pressing page up key once. Drag and select all the mask points and move them out of the frame because the transition hasn't started yet. Now the mask is ready and the only thing left is to add another video that we will be transitioning to. So go ahead and drag your video and drop it below this one so it shows up only on the masked area. And as you can see as her legs go across the screen we are getting the reveal of the second clip. And this will work with any video or photo. And as you can tell my masking was not the most precise one but I was doing it for the tutorial and you can spend more time on adjusting your mask. And that's pretty much it there is no more to it really simple and straightforward. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you did, give it a like. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.